Hey designer Alex here welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use stacks to make some advanced layout changes like this or furthermore if you want you can make additional changes like this so you can replace the positioning of your elements to get some better use cases to show to your clients and to generate more ideas faster. So let's get started. Alright, so here is the practice file for today's tutorial. If you want to get this practice file, make sure to check out the link in the description below. If you want to follow along, play around with this file and achieve your own layout. So as I said in the introduction, we are going to tackle stacks and I'm going to show you how to make some advanced changes in your layout and to present them to your clients. So first of all, let's switch over to our layers panel just so you can see how the layer structure looks like. And this is the key and important thing about my layouts in particular is I really like to name them all and I really like to structure them all from top to bottom, from left to right, because that way not just myself, but later my clients or team or whoever else down the line or even developers can be uh, easily uh, accessible when they open up the same file I was working on. So that's why I like to name my layers, I like to structure them in that way. That's the key because if you want to use stacks, the key reason you would is for you to be able to easily organize them. And to do that, it's going to be much simpler for you to name and organize your layers and your groups in such a way that it will be logical for everybody else down the line in the pipeline. So first things first, what I'm going to do is use all of these, as you can see all of these layouts, and I'm going to group all of them and call them about. Then I'm going to apply stack to all of these elements. And you can see because all, all of these different, um, very various different uh, distances between these elements. So here we have 150, here we have 150, here we have 146, and here we have 150. Then between these two, we have something smaller like 78. So it's usually much simpler to leave them like this. And I can simply hover on one of them, hold my shift key, and then increase the distances between all of these different groups in my design, I reduce them, increase them, do whatever I want in just a click of a button. So that's why I use, uh, I like to use this option. And for example, for this first one, it's 150. But if I type in right here and lower it down, then I can do that as well by simply holding my left mouse click without holding shift and then it's going to be 100 here and let's say 100 here just for the sake of my layout. So you can see how these fluid changes make a lot of difference in your design. Then I'm going to use this text. You can see I already have a stack applied to it and useful thing about it is I can simply click and drag if I want to reposition and reorganize some of these elements, which I'm not going to do right here, but that's the beauty of stacks because you can simply reorder them however you want. Here in this about us section, what I'm going to do is put these two in a group and call it, for example, text like so. Then I'm going to apply another stack and you can see it going down because image is on top, text is at the bottom. And then on the text itself, I'm going to apply another stack, which is going to go in this direction. So you can see how all of this is working on. And then when I select this text and when I adjust it, you can see how this text is going to follow. Then if I do the same with this text, but in this direction, if I select it and go like this, you can see now I have a bit more space. So if I want to add another one, I can do so. And then for example, I want to expand this a little bit to position it a bit differently. You can clearly see the obvious advantages that stacks have when you use them in your design. But another quick change right here is if I want to apply our vision to the left, our mission to the right, all I need to do is simply click and drag right here. And then finally, if I want to replace them entirely, all I have to do is click and drag. It's going to take it to the top of my image. So you can see in just a couple of clicks how you can achieve something like this. And another thing which I want to show you is now I can click on this image and for example, move it to something like here maybe. Then I'm going to double click right here and apply my grid. There we go. And then I'm going to use about us image and for example, make it six columns wide like this. Then click right here 
and change it to here. And because I have a stack on my entire design, the entire layout actually applied that change to my layout itself. Then what I can do is simply take this and position it down a bit. But first I have to group it like this. And then I have to apply another stack, which is going to go into this direction like so. Then I'm going to position text a bit more to the top and then adjust it fully until this reaches six columns in width like so. So there you go. You can see with just a couple of easy clicks what you can do with this design and with this design direction. Just imagine I can add additional image right here. So let's take this one, control C and then move right here where it says text and hit control V to paste it in. And I'm going to position it roughly around here, for example, then I'm going to switch it around and move it down a little bit and just make sure that I apply the same width and height to something like this. So you can see how we are getting some blog layout nice and crisp right here. Uh, here we have a bit of a problem. So I'm just going to narrow it down a touch so it aligns with my grid layout. And there we go. In just a couple of easy seconds, I can have a completely different layout than what I usually have. And this is really crucial, especially when you're working freelance with your clients. All I need to do right here is simply ungroup this and I'm going to get rid of this, click on my text entirely and simply drag and extend it where it was previously to something like this. And I'm going to get rid of this last line of text just so my alignment is nice and crisp. Then I'm going to move to about us section and perhaps move this image right here to the edge, select it and then extend it all the way to here. Use my text, bring it back. There we go. And now in just a couple of easy clicks, if I get rid of my grid lines, you can see two exactly the same layouts, but positioned in a completely different way. The last thing which I want to show you is with components. So let's go right here. I think this was the original one. There we go. No, actually it was this one. Yeah. So I have my original component right here. And what I'm going to do is actually select these where it says user image and I'm going to group them and let's quickly check if I group them all right here. I didn't. So let's go on group, right click right here and say edit main component. It's going to take me right here. So this is the main component and whatever changes you make right here, they're going to propagate to all of your other component instances. So I'm going to use this. I'm going to group it like so. There we go. I'm going to use these two texts, group them, call it text. There we go. And this can be, let's say, user like this. And I'm going to position it all the way down to here. This is the icon. I'm going to place it right here. And finally, this is the divider line just right here like this. And finally, we have this text at the center. So I'm going to go ahead and group all of them. Or I can even apply a quick stack right here. So let's check some distances here. We have 60 here. We have 60. We have 80. And here we have 60. So there we go. Uh, what I want to do right here is to apply a stack right here. So I can even make this change and then select this and move it like this for example, and then use my text and my user image position it right here. So if I switch over to all of these instances, you can see that all of these changes are actually applied here, except for this one, which had some weird glitch apparently. So let me get rid of this one and let's move this component right here. But here you can see how all of it looks like. So one final thing I want to do is actually adjust this. So when I do, you can see it actually applies this change to all of my component instances, even if I want to adjust this like this, or if I want to select it and make these cards narrower or taller or do with them whatever I want. But finally, what I want to do is bring this back to its original position and let's apply it to be, I don't know, 10, for example, something like that. Let's switch it over and let's make sure it's in the center of my image. And if I take it back, you can see all of the changes applied right here. So that's the beauty of stacks. That's how super simple and super easy it is to use them. And because of these easy layout changes, you can measure and you can get 
um, unlimited number of ideas that you can share with your clients you can show them all of these different uh, layout structures you can let them choose which one they think is going to work best for their brand or you can do it for them one final change which i want to show you because as i mentioned previously i put all of these elements into stacks for whatever reason if i want to let's say position this just above here maybe i can drag it to roughly around here you can see that it's positioned right there so on the spot with your teammates with your clients or developers you can make all of these easy changes right on the go so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you got some value out of it if you did make sure to press the like button and to subscribe to the channel because i upload new videos all about adobe xd every single week on the channel so if you're interested in content like that make sure to subscribe not to miss out on future content thank you so much for watching one more time and until next time take care yeah.